Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Vanessa. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video on how to floss and brush your teeth properly when you have TMJ. So if you're interested, keep watching. So if you um, have been keeping up with my channel, you know that I don't wear a splint 24 seven anymore. I now only have one when I go to sleep. So it looks like this. I just put it on my bottom teeth. And it's huge. But I just use it to sleep. So for this one, I'm just going to kind of show you how I go about flossing my teeth so I'm not like um, tiring my jaw out too much. And yeah, so let's get started. So for flossing, I use I like these Plackers Micro Mint like little stick things. Um, I don't really use like this type of floss that much unless I'm out of these. I just like these because it's... It's easier for me and I don't have to like, uh, you know, I could just, it's like gets right to the point and my jaw doesn't hurt so much. So what I do is I just have like a tissue on standby and I start with the tooth all the way towards the back and move towards this way. And each time I grab one, I like kind of wipe the excess off and then keep going. All right, so I'll show you guys. And then also making time for breaks. Uh, your, when you have TMJ, your jaw needs a lot of rest time, uh, especially when you're doing a lot of mouth openings and blah, blah, blah. So here we go. My heart is there. And rest. And you keep going. So you see I'm not opening my mouth super wide. I just open it enough for this to fit in there. I just had lunch, so this isn't, usually I don't brush my teeth after lunch. It's in the morning or at night. But I wanted to show you guys this video and also had a lot of onions for lunch. So I'm like, let me do this right now. As you can see, I have some chicken right there. Got it. Okay, and I'm just keep it going. The reason I'm quick with it is because I actually floss twice. And I'll show you what I do. Hold on. Okay, so now that I just did the top of my mouth, I'm gonna just take a little bit of breath. If anything hurts, just like massage, but just know like flossing is very important. Um, and then just going towards the bottom teeth. For this one, I feel like you don't have to open your mouth as wide. If you have like a mirror, you could literally just put tilt your head down and you could see all your teeth. My bottom teeth usually never have anything. And the cool thing is that these have this thingy. So if you ever have something like out of reach, for example, me, I have wisdom teeth coming out on these. So I could like go in here. Cool. All right. So now that I've flossed my teeth the first time, I'm going to go in with um my toothbrush i have this philip sonicare toothbrush looks like that i am in the process of getting a new one like i have to go pick it up <laughs> but this is like my travel one that i use to like whenever i need to travel it's perfect um when i was still working i was taking this to work um this is just nice and i've been using this crest 3d white i as a rule of thumb would it normally like i don't think i necessarily will like suggest you to use this toothpaste um i just like ha i've had it for a while and i didn't want it to go to waste it's not my favorite toothpaste it's not the best it's not necessarily the best for white teeth yes i pretty much have white teeth but i would suggest doing something like just regular colgate regular crust you don't have to get too crazy um sensodyne is also a great one too i just have to take breaks because sensodyne doesn't taste that well to me so i like to take i like to switch up my toothpaste anyways that's how much i put okay so for brushing your teeth same method you basically gotta have give yourself a uh, rest give yourself grace and just don't get like too crazy uh and then just try not to open your mouth up as wide so 
Oh, and it has a button, so it's on. Well, I, I try to keep my mouth closed as much as possible. So if you feel, sorry, if you feel like you want your mouth to open a little bit more, I would highly suggest keeping your um, hand next to it so you could push up just so you know that you're not going like, you're not opening too wide. Okay. Once you feel like you've gotten a good amount of brush strokes in there, now you can move on to your tongue. So this part is probably the part that you gotta be the most careful for. I'm someone that I like to go all the way towards the back, like I'll gag, but that's just because um, like I have like a lot of chronic like sinuses. So like I'll always have phlegm every single time and I wanna get it out of there. I wanna be able to breathe. Um, like chronic sinusitis runs in my family. My sister has it really bad. I don't have it as bad, but like I always have phlegm and I always have to blow my nose, even if I'm perfectly healthy. So I would suggest doing the same thing. I would suggest doing it towards the sink and then uh, going as far, I don't know if you brush your tongue or so just you do, or if you have a tongue scraper, just really be careful with how far back you go. This part's not that pretty, so I guess you'll just hear me do it. <laughs> It's so weird but basically I start off here and then as you go back your your jaw naturally wants to open up a lot wider so just try to prevent that from happening <coughs> Jesus okay just wipe that off okay so now that I brush my teeth and when you're doing with your tongue and you go all the way towards the back like that, that just was not the right thing to do. But when you're like going back and your mouth is open, just like be really careful. As soon as you start hearing those gags, that means that your jaw's starting to feel it. So just like massage your jaws and be just honestly, it's, like, it's up to you and it's up to your pain tolerance and your pain preference. Just know that if you do open up your mouth super, super wide, it could affect your TMJ process and your healing process. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize like their everyday occurrences of like, even you just like singing or brushing your teeth, possibly performing like oral sexual acts. Like I'm just trying to be real with you guys. Like that stuff really affects your TMJ and you just gotta really be careful of everything that you do. You could even sing or belt a song crazy and open your mouth. Like you really just have to be careful. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in for round two. This is the part where I usually don't have anything but I just like to like double check that my teeth are good. And this is goes a little bit faster because I, I just don't wanna be opening my mouth for too much longer, so. Pretty much, there's like nothing there. So like small openings. And now it looks like, it looks weird, but when you got TMJ, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, couldn't find that one. Oh, see how my mouth my mouth just popped a little bit yeah that's not good I opened it a little too wide all right sweet 
And the last thing I do is I finish off with some Thera Breath, just cause like with the floss, I still feel kind of gross. So I want to just like wash it all away with some uh, like oral mouthwash. This is Thera Breath. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this on TikTok and stuff. My sister actually put me on to this one. Shout out to my sister Dulce. It's called Thera Breath. Uh, this one's in the flavor Clean Mint. And I love this one. And just be prepared for it not to taste like um, the Colgate ones or the whatever, the Listerine. It, they don't taste, it doesn't taste like that, but you get used to it. And now like I'm like, I'm obsessed. So just do a quick swig. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, mm, mm. I forgot to say, don't take a huge, huge swig because you're using your muscles, your jaw muscles to swig that all around. And for me, for someone who um, like, will sometimes get ear symptoms through my TMJ, like ear pain, ear pressure. Um, when I'm doing that, I could feel the liquid surrounding right here. So you just gotta be careful to not do a huge, a huge uh, swig of the mouthwash and just be careful. Take your time, this, this one doesn't sting. It feels so, it feels minty. It actually feels like, like herby, not in a bad way. But basically just be careful when you're doing that. And I did put my mouth on it because this is my own personal mouthwash and my fiance has his own on his side of the bathroom. So don't be weird. Cause I know in households, like you shouldn't put your mouth on it. I know that's gross, but I, this is my personal one that no one uses except for me. So that is how I floss and brush my teeth. Um, I hope you guys learned something just, you know, it's a based off of you and how your mouth feels, how your jaw feels, and you pretty much just got to see how it is every day. Maybe one day it does hurt, maybe it doesn't, but just know that your daily activities of just grinding in your sleep, brushing your teeth, singing, blowjobs, or whatever, like that kind of stuff like really does affect your your TMJ. Also eating, like if, you're, if your salad's too huge and you're taking a huge ass bite of your salad, Although it's not super, super chewy, it's crunchy and you have, you're opening your mouth. You really got to be careful. Take small ass bites until you're able to take bigger ones. You really got to like think about every single thing. And then it's, it's very annoying. You don't realize how many things affect your TMJ, but like everything affects your TMJ. Even just like gasping, like you're seeing a show and you go, oh! like you really got to be careful with how big you open up your mouth. Just something to think about. Uh, let me know if you guys like this video, if you want more like TMJ uh, tips for someone who's been through uh, the whole orthotic process that I did it. I wore it for an entire year. Now I just wear it at night. Uh, let me know and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye cuties.